Dear students, after studying this module, you shall be able to know about the significance of adsorption chromatography, principle and methodology of adsorption chromatography and the general aspects of the adsorption chromatography. Adsorption chromatography is the most accepted modern high performance liquid chromatography also termed as HPLC. The process includes division of the constituents in a mixture introduced into a chromatography system based on the relative differences in the adsorption of the components to stationary phase present in the chromatography column. The molecules or components of the mixture pass through with the different speeds because of the differences in the affinity towards the stationary phase. The stationary phase is a solid material on which the sample compound is to be adsorbed. Mobile phase is either a liquid, solid liquid chromatography or a gas, gas liquid chromatography because the adsorption phenomena is an inherent property of solids and hence it is accompanied by any solid stationary phase chromatography. It is based on the interaction between the solid molecules and the active sites on the stationary phase. This interaction depends upon the polarity of solutes, polar like polar. Sweat established the system around 1900 and recognized its use by separating plant pigments. Gas chromatography, thin layer chromatography and open column chromatography comes under this chromatography type. principle of adsorption chromatography. It involves the systematic partition of chemical mixture gas or liquid by passing it over an adsorbent bed that adsorbs different compounds at different rates. Solute in the liquid or gas phase interacts with the adsorption sites on the solid surface. Finally, alienated particles for maximum surface area. As can be seen here, how on the inert solid solute particles are adsorbed where there we have the mobile phase and the stationary phase. A mixture of liquids is separated by being passed over a solid substrate in the same manner as gases are separated by being passed over a liquid substrate. The liquid solvent is the mobile phase and the solid is a stationary phase. As with the gas chromatography, the difference in the flow rate of the components of the mixture depends on how much time is spent by each component in the stationary phase and how much is spent in the mobile phase. A suitable inert solvent is used as the mobile phase in the same way as the inert carrier gas is used in the gas chromatography. The ratio of time spent by the sample in the solvent and on the surface of the stationary phase depends on the solubility of the sample in the solvent and the adsorption effects of the stationary phase surface on the sample molecules. Each of these parameters in Van Demeter equation is generally pertinent in liquid solid chromatography that is geometry diffusion, mass transfer and flow rate. An adsorbent may be described as a solid which has a property of holding molecules at its surface particularly when it is porous and finally divided. It differs from an ion exchanger in that the attraction of molecules to the surface of the adsorbent ideally does not involve the electrostatic forces. Adsorption can be fairly specific so that one solute may be adsorbed selectively from a mixture. Separation of component by this method depends upon differences both in the degree of adsorption by the adsorbent and solubility in the solvent used for separation. These features are of course, 
governed by the molecular structure of the compound. Adsorption chromatography can be carried out both in column and thin layer molds. Theory The adhesion of the atoms, ions or molecules from dissolved solid, liquid or gas to the surface is termed as adsorption. A film of adsorbate is formed on the surface of the adsorbent by this process. The term adsorbent is defined as the stationary phase in adsorption chromatography while adsorbate is the mobile phase. It is well here depicted in the given figure the adsorptive adsorbate before being adsorbed on the surface and the adsorbate the gas adsorbed on the surface of the solids and the adsorbent the solid where the adsorption takes place. The course of action of adsorption can be studied through the graphs known as adsorption isotherm. Adsorption isotherm is the graph drawn between the amount of the adsorbate adsorbed on the surface of the adsorbent and the pressure at the constant temperature. Different adsorption isotherms are Frendlich and Langmuir. Basic adsorption isotherms. In the process of adsorption, adsorbate is adsorbed on the adsorbent. Adsorbent plus adsorbate leads to adsorption. The front reaction goes as adsorption while the reverse reaction is also called as the desorption. In 1909, Friendlich gave a pragmatic expression which represents the isothermal dissimilarity of the adsorption of an amount of gas adsorbed by a unit mass of the solid adsorbent with pressure. This equation is known as Friendlich adsorption isotherm represented as x by m is equal to k p to the power of 1 by n where x is the mass of gas adsorbed on the mass m of the adsorbent and the at the pressure p and k and n is a constant whose value depends upon the adsorbent and gas at a particular temperature. Langmuir adsorption isotherm In the year 1916, another adsorption isotherm was proposed by Langmuir which came to be known as Langmuir adsorption isotherm. According to this isotherm, there exists a dynamic equilibrium between the adsorbed gaseous molecules and the free gaseous molecules. The reverse reaction is again called as desorption. Here where A grams is an unadsorbed gaseous molecule, B s is an unoccupied metal surface and AB is the adsorbed gaseous molecule. On the basis of the nature of forces present between the adsorbent and the adsorbent molecule, two types of adsorptions are there. Physical adsorption, if the forces of attraction taking place between the adsorbate and the adsorbent are van der Waals forces, then the adsorption is known as physical adsorption. Van der Waals adsorption or fizzy adsorption is also the term used for this type of adsorption. By decreasing the pressure or by heating, this type of adsorption can be reversed. Chemical adsorption. If the forces of attraction being held between the adsorbate and the adsorbent are of the same strength as the chemical bonds, then the adsorption is called as chemical adsorption. This type of adsorption is also referred as chemisorption or Langmuir adsorption. These are irreversible. We can see here on the figure there are monolayer adsorptions and multilayer adsorption. The heat of adsorption of the first monolayer is much stronger than the heat of adsorption of the second and all the following layers, typical for the chemisorption cases. However, 
the heat of adsorption of the first layer is comparable to the heat of condensation of the subsequent layers often observed with the fizz adsorption. Types of forces in the adsorption chromatography Dipole dipole attractions It is a type of the force taking place between the polar adsorbent and the polar solutes. Hydrogen bonding They are feebler than the covalent bonds. They are formed between the OH group hydrogen and the electronegative atoms such as nitrogen, oxygen in the solutes. Example silicon hydrogen bond. Polarizability forces. It takes place between the polar adsorbents and the solutes that can polarize. Weak covalent bonds. It dwells during the complex formation. Van der Waal forces. Nonpolar forces of magnetism that occurs between the atom of nuclei and electrons of the other atoms. Forces causing solute movements. Illusion. It is a tendency of the solutes to liquefy and transfer with the mobile phase. Displacement, where the solvent molecules compete with the solute of the adsorption sites on the stationary phase. This competition makes the solutes to move at different speeds. Adsorbents, stationary phase. Major types of the adsorbents used are molecular sieve carbon, silica gel, activated carbon, activated alumina, molecular sieve zeolites, resins, starch, sugar and polymeric adsorbents. Each material has its individual characteristics such as pore structure, pore structure nature of its adsorbing surface and porosity, solvents, mobile phase, any organic solvent obtained in the necessary degree of purity can be used as a mobile phase. The selection is dependent on the polarity of the compounds to be resolved and upon their distribution coefficient. Commonly used low polarity solvents are chloroform, acetonitrile, diethyl ether, heptane, toluene and hexane. Intermediate polarity solvents include ethanoic acid, dichloromethane and pyridine. Highly polar solvents include water, ethanol, butanol, acetone, methanol and propanol. In case of the gradient elution, suitable mixture of miscible solvents are used to give an eluent a gradual increasing polarity. Methodology Consider a tubular column with the top open to the atmosphere and restricted outlet as shown here in the figure. This column is placed with the finely divided solids such as silica, alumina, calcium carbonate or charcoal which will physically adsorb but will not chemically react with the solute components. The equilibrium is attained between the dissolved solutes in the liquid phase and the adsorbed solutes in, on the solid phase. When a given volume of the appropriate solvent containing the two components X and Y is inserted at the top of the column, both of the components will be adsorbed near the top of the packing. As the solution percolates through the column, the adsorption of both the components continue and the concentration in the solution of both the components decreases. When eluent is added, the lesser amount of the strongly adsorbed Y will be selectively displaced and will migrate ahead of X until the entire partition is attained. Limitations the sample molecules are adsorbed only at the active sites. The active sites are affected by the dimensions of the crystal lattice which makes the surface. The correct choice of the solvent and the solid substrate is complicated in the liquid solid chromatography. The solid substrate 
loses their capacity with time to handle the samples of the suitable size. application used to establish the identity or non-identity of the two substances. The two substances under test are mixed and the solution is poured over the vertical adsorbent column. Used for the partition of high molecular weight compounds, this cannot be analyzed by the gas chromatography owing to their high boiling points. Use a presumptive test for the examination of samples collected for the workplace drug testing. Use for the examination of explosives, forensic applications, use for the examination of the colored materials, use for the detection of the samples in the case of performance enhancing drugs used by the athletes, again the forensic application and also used for the detection of the samples which are collected in the case of alleged drug facilitated sexual assault. To summarize, adsorption chromatography is the most accepted modern high performance liquid chromatography HPLC techniques. The molecules or components of the mixture passes through with the different speeds because of the differences in the affinity towards a stationary phase. The interaction depends upon the polarity of the solutes, polar likes polar. Sweat established the system around 1900 and recognized it used by separating the plant pigments. An adsorbent may be described as a solid which has property of holding the molecules at its surface, particularly when it is porous and finely divided. Adsorption can be defined as the addition of atoms, ions or molecules from the gas, liquid or dissolved solid to the surface. This process creates a film of adsorbate on the surface of the adsorbent.